question. Are, are you comfortable in front of the camera? I'm, I'm, I'm quite comfortable in front of the camera, yes, sir. How's it going, guys? My name is Josh Payne. I've been tattooing for about 16, 17 years. I think I started in 2003. Um, I've had a lot of highs, a lot of lows. I had a, an interesting ride, and quite recently it's been capped off with, as you know, the uh, the winning of Ink Master Season 10. So that was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And since then, a lot of doors, a lot of opportunities have opened up, and I'm excited to see where I take this. Awesome. Yeah, that must have been pretty crazy going through the whole ride. What was that like? Yeah, it was, it was crazy, you know, and I got to uh, day one, I walk in and, and I see Juan Salgado's there, you know, of all people, someone I've looked up to who's, you know, without Juan, I wouldn't be who I am in this industry, you know, like I've, I've looked up to his work from the beginning. He's fucking brilliant. So I knew right then and there, you know, it was going to be a hard fight. And otherwise, you know, it was just, it, it's a wild, crazy, crazy ride that no matter how much I can explain it to you, you, you wouldn't ever really get it unless you were inside. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. it's just, it, it's a different beast for sure. Do you feel it made you a better tattooer when all said and done? It, it is, you know, and, and it's funny because after coming out of it, I wanted to do a video explaining like what you really do learn there and, and how good it is. But I just didn't feel like people would really be receptive being that I came out victorious. Had I, you know, come in second place, I think that it would have been received better. But, you know, and a lot of good artists and high name artists talk to me about it and they want to be anti the show. And I say the same. I go pick anybody that's been on that show and tell me their work hasn't gotten exponentially better. You know, and everybody's happy. Sure. You know, it's the first time that you're forced to look at yourself that critically and, and, and hold yourself responsible for, for what you've actually done with your own work. Yeah, sure. Do you think that uh, some of the stress tests they put you through, uh, are, are they frivolous or, or do they actually, uh, you know, add to the value of the contest? It's, of, you know, it, like the one thing, and, and myself and I, and I'm co-workers with a gentleman named Tom Bowman, you know, who also was on, mm. he was on season nine. And, and me and him talk about it a lot. Like, we wish that you guys could see all the other stuff and all the bloopers and the fun and, and the reality of it. You know, and it's like the critiques are, you really get, they, they talk about your work for 20, 25 minutes. They tell you what's great, what's wrong, what works, what they can improve upon. You know, the flash challenges are an absolute blast because when's the next time that somebody's going to hand you an unlimited amount of art supplies? <laughs> right. They just say, go fuck it off and have fun. So, you know, all that being said, it was, it was, it was super, super fun, but the environment is pure chaos. Like, they they know how to get people to break down and they know what they're doing to get what they want to do. So it's like, everybody's like, is it fake? Is it this? I go, it's, it's not fake. It's not set up. There's, there's no one giving you a script, but none of that happens, but they know how to, they know how to push and pull to get the results they're looking for. It's kind of the best way to put it. Yeah, and yeah. obviously I can step back and say every second of it was worth it because I got a really cool check at the end of it, oh. you know, and, and I couldn't put myself in, in the seat of anyone who's gone through it and didn't win. But it truly was an, an incredible experience, something I couldn't ever, like, I would never get back, you know, and there's, it, it just, the learning curve was incredible. Yeah, right, awesome. You know, the, uh, when, when the competition shows were first coming out, I was uh, anticipating the, the lack of responsibility or, like, you know, that stress might not be what's best for the tattoo, right? So you're going to get some tattoos that aren't be, but what I realized as soon as I saw the very first contestant come out there, like, the contestant cared more about being on TV than getting a good tattoo. Oh, for right. sure. The, yeah, so, the, the campuses, if you want to call them that, because that's what they had to go with. Um, we got to a point where we're like, these aren't real people. We would always joke, was like, open the portal and let the creatures walk through. Like, most casting. of these people are just, they're just chaotic, you know. And, and I've, you know, I've had some friends like, man, like, if I get an opportunity, should I go get tattooed on that show? And I go, no. I go, it's, the goal is to try to weed you out by putting you in an environment where they're trying to make you do a bad tattoo. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why would you ever take that <laughs> risk in a tattoo? Like, I'm not going to. There ain't no fucking way. Right. No, awesome, fun, fun. Well, let's uh, shift gears. This is a little mini interview. Let's uh, let's talk yeah. about the uh, the Heritage Tattoo Conference. It's happening in Omaha. Uh, it's, it's May twenty third, just before the the convention that weekend. Yeah, I'm super excited. I was asked uh, personally to to basically give a seminar, kind of about what I do, who I am, you know, and and, and what's different with me, and, how, and try to help people like kind of learn their own way. Um, it's been a difficult thing for me trying to steer my own ship, figure out what I want to do for a seminar because I am a very versatile across the board artist. I didn't know how to rein myself in. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized, like, I think that is the seminar I need to give is, is showing the comparisons between things, explaining the parallels from one style to another and how learning this is going to elevate that and, and really opening up that side of things and, and realizing that like you should never be so you know so steer headed in one direction because you're going to miss all these other little opportunities and you know amongst a bunch of other stuff i'm going to get into that and probably talk about my path through this career as well because i've had some highs and lows and 
and I've, I've definitely done some of the right things and some of the absolute wrong things. And, you know, if, if I could help somebody learn from my mistakes, I, I'd love to do that, you know. Awesome. Well, I'd be uh, excited to check out the, the seminar, and uh, maybe at some point we could dive into some of those other uh, lessons learned. I, I also love doing the same thing and, and digesting uh, <laughs> uh, the past uh, in a anticipation of a, a fantastic future. But uh, So cool. So where's uh, the best place for people to, to catch uh, catch you online? I'm Everything on Instagram is just at Josh Payne Tattoo. I kept it as simple and straightforward as possible, so you don't have to go hunting too hard. Awesome. Fantastic. And then, uh, yeah, well, I'll be excited to, uh, to see you at the show and catch up in person again. And uh, thanks again for taking the time in the middle of a tattoo. For sure, yeah. My client's sitting on the couch right now waiting, so I'm sure he's like, let's get back to this thing. So awesome. y'all Cheers. have a good one. I look forward to, uh, to meeting whoever comes out to the expo, and I look forward to, you know, just talking and, and bullshitting and seeing what we can do. Sounds like a plan. We'll talk soon. Awesome. Take care, Gabe. Cheers. Bye.